Welcome back to the course. Maybe you watched the previous lecture, lecture in this section and were able to edit your interview sequence yourself, or maybe you watched the full length editing section that I put later on in the course that got me to where I am today. Just to catch you up, we have an Anthony V1 sequence where I have one minute's worth of interview clips with both the A camera and B camera. In this video, we're going to add B roll to our footage. So we have to decide where we want B-roll and what that B-roll is going to be. It's probably a good idea for you to look through the B-roll shots, see what all of them are, and look through the photos and see what they are as well. And you're free to go online and try to find your own B-roll or you could even shoot your own B-roll if you think there's a shot that needs to be done. We are limited though with the B-roll that I've given you. and that uh, could be a problem if you want a specific B-roll shot, but it's also a good challenge to come up with a way to edit a video and make it look amazing without having every single shot that you would like to have. So going through my interview, we're just gonna listen through it and then we're going to see what we want to add to it as B-roll. The same year I was diagnosed, that summer the whole ALS Ice Bucket Challenge phenomenon um, went viral. So for this intro part, I'm not going to have any B-roll because I want to just jump right into his face, into seeing Anthony on camera to introduce him to the audience. We'll probably put a graphic lower third title and we'll learn how to do that in the titles section of this course. Everyone that I knew and their mama's baby's mama doing. So you'll see that there is a little jump cut right here. We were trimming down the clip. Everyone that I knew and their mama's baby. And there's an audio sort of sounds like a glitch. We'll fix that with the transitions in the next couple of lessons. But here is a part where we want to add some clips of the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge. I don't have the rights to other videos of other people, but uh, you could... If this was an actual documentary you were making, you might want to get rights to other ALS Ice Bucket Challenge videos. Here, we do have the clip that he gave me for my documentary of him doing the Ice Bucket Challenge. So without context, it's kind of weird. You see him in a bikini, but this is just for fun, uh, just to be crazy, more wild out there, try to get more views. So I'm going to scan through this and just get to the parts where it's kind of funny. So we got a couple different shots, him talking, calling out Ellen. So if you're editing your minute long piece and you're making a, it about him calling out Ellen, you might want to actually include the audio clip from him calling out Ellen right here. For me, I'm just going to take these shots and I'm just going to scrub through it, press the I for the endpoint, play through it, stop. Press O for the out point, take the video only, and drag it down here. If I expand this track three, I can see what this clip is. And this is good so that I know what's going on on my timeline. I know what the video clips look like. I'm going to scrub through here even more. Maybe get this funny part. Start where he starts to scrub the window. Maybe while he's doing it, something like here. It's kind of funny, but make sure we end before it cuts to this other shot. Put this afterwards. Viral. Everyone that I knew and their mama's baby's mama doing the ALS ice bucket challenge, dumping ice water over their head. Nobody talked. And we're going to finish with this shot of ice water dumping over his head. Matching what he's saying on in the interview with what you're seeing. ALS ice bucket challenge, dumping ice water over their head. Nobody talks. In the video clip. About this disease because it's us. I think it's okay that this clip actually extends past where he stops that last line and continues this into this next thought. Disease because it's ugly, you know, that doesn't go viral, but as soon as somebody does something random and fun, it goes. If we have more video clips, it might look be good to add some more ALS ice bucket clips right here. Viral, and so that's what I did. First day I got 100,000 views. Then for my edit, he starts talking about the virality of it, how it went viral, and he talks about the social media views. So we have a few social media screenshots that we're going to add. What I'm going to do is just select all of these just by selecting the top one, shift clicking the last one, drag it down here. I'm going to put them all on different layers though so that they 
end up going on top of each other. And when I do that, I'm adding extra layers. I'm adding a sixth video layer right now. And you can see when I add these, they're different shapes. They're too big. They're too small. We're going to have to edit the size and shape of these things later on. I just want to get them onto my timeline. I also want a white background. So see here on the edge of this video, we have the social media clip or the photo, but we see the edge of the shot from the interview. I don't want that. I want a white background. So what I will do is let me just move this up. I will select all of these screenshots, move them up a layer or a, a, a video track. Then I will add a white background right here. I'm going to start a new graphics folder. So, or a graphics bin. So I'll call this graphics. And then in the graphics bin with it selected, I'm going to press the new item button, color mat. Choose the video setting size, which is matches my settings right now for my sequence. So that's good. And then I'm, I have that color picker. I'm just going to move down to white. If you want, you can change the colors with um, the hex code down here, or you can choose this eyedropper and then move anywhere in your video preview monitor, anywhere on your screen to select that color. So say I want to match the color of his skin. I could do that there. I'm just going to choose white. Then it asks me to choose a name. I'm going to call this white matte. Press OK. It appears in our graphics bin. Now I'm going to drag it onto my sequence. So now... So that's what I did. First day I got 100,000 views. We have these social media screenshots right here. We still have to edit them how I did in the original video where they slide on. That's a little bit of motion graphics that we'll learn a little bit later on. And then the next day I got a million. We're getting all this love and encouragement. It was just insane. The biggest thing to me. And I'm just going to extend this white part right here. Encouragement. It was just insane. The biggest to after he says it was insane to know that these clips will extend to that part. This thing to me meant that I wasn't alone for a disease that literally will take away my. Then when he talks about a disease that will literally take away his voice, let's show a picture of him and his mom. Both of them are diagnosed with ALS. Both of them are struggling to survive. So we're going to add this right here. I just drag and drop that photo disease that literally will take away right there. And you can see that it's too big and it's not in the right position. We'll learn how to edit that later on for a demographic of people that is small. And, and then when he's talking about this more emotional stuff, let's take that video clip of him and his wife, maybe a photo, maybe this shot work where they're working in the chair. But I don't see his face in this shot. We had the reverse shot in the real documentary. But for here, let's just take one of these shots of them with the photo. So let's just select a little bit of this clip, putting in my in and out points, adding right here. The demographic of people that is small and underserved. and We could add this photo of him, maybe, with his Cure ALS. Um, car that's kind of cool so let's just take that maybe we'll put that before the video shot so it goes photo people that photo small. you can see it's way zoomed in because that photo is really big may make the photo of him and his mom just a little bit bigger that is small and under right now i'm conceptualizing what this is going to look like even though it doesn't look like it here in our program monitor we still have to make all kinds of adjustments to the size of these photos, I just am laying it down for later on. The, um, uh, the level of awareness that it's ever needed, this was huge for us, but we still need a lot more support. It was one self. I like seeing him look up at the camera where he says, but we still need a lot of support. Then we'll just add, edit, finish on these shots of him cruising around town in his wheelchair, which I think is important and it's powerful because He's talking about needing more support and we're showing his life right now, him in a wheelchair. 
and he's 27 years old still needs support and that's what we're going to end on they'll need a lot more support it was that might be something you want to start on too you could start on one of these shots and then end on the other that could be a cool way to bookend your piece so now we have our b-roll laid out we have the als ice bucket challenge stuff we've got the social media stuff we've got the family stuff of him and his mom and him and his wife and then him with this disease in the next lessons, we'll learn how to manipulate these photos and graphics to make them the right size.